Hello and welcome back to Linux Gamer Till I Die. This is episode 72 of my playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. In the previous episode, we were exploring the Repcon offices or headquarters. I keep calling it a facility, it wasn't a facility, although they did have some research and development there by the look of it. Um, it was a building with a museum on the first floor, or the ground floor. Um, uh, kind of offices on the second floor and then executive offices on the top floor all patrolled by various robots Mr. Handys uh, which did various checks including facial recognition and uh, security card checks we managed to navigate the entire building without tripping any hostile actions which is pretty impressive for us there was one check that we failed to do and we needed seven luck and we only have five, I think. So that, that was unfortunate. But uh, anyway, we did a bit of research in this place. We found out that uh, there was kind of a, a mole inside of the building or the company trying to convince other people to sell their shares to Robco, who eventually bought the company and installed their own security measures, including the robots. And... Um, it was more or less a hostile takeover. Uh, the guy who set up the company got poisoned or something and got sent off ill for a while and when he came back it turned out that he lost control of the company and uh, yeah basically he was forced to take early retirement I think. I, it, was, it was difficult to keep track of who was who in these emails that we were reading but uh, that's the general sum of what I think we found out. Um, we went into the building for the sole purpose of finding one of the recon teams that the Brotherhood of Steel had sent out on reconnaissance work. Uh, we found them on the top floor, uh, dead. Um, one of them crushed by a wall, the other one just sat against a wall, dead. I, I don't know if they got killed by the robots or if they got some other way of dying. But the important thing is they're dead, and we've got their mission tape, and we have to take it back to the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, but we're going to take it back to the head of the um, Knights, I think he is. Got on his name again, Harkin, or something like that. Uh, he wants to replace the Elder, and we think the state may help with that. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I know. I'm not sure if we're going to go there straight away. We might uh, do some more wandering first. We might head up to the Lucky 38 and get Edie back. But um, yeah, I'm going to just load up save. Uh, the other thing that happened in the last episode is we got attacked by Caesar's Legion assassins. Kind of out of the blue. Uh, I'm not sure why they've suddenly decided I'm a target, but uh, we dispatched them after a bit of a firefight. Uh, nearly blew ourselves up with a car, that was fun. Um, hopefully that's not ruined any chance of us turning in any quests for the uh, uh, Caesar's Legion camp, but uh, if it has, then it has. I mean, we've managed to piss off the uh, NCR a lot, and they still aren't openly hostile to us, so holding out hope that we're not going to be attacked as soon as we go near uh, Caesar's Legion camp. Right, where are we? Now the Lucky 38. All the way up here somewhere. We can head back down this way, it's not too far. We might do that first. But yeah, let's just do that. Back the way we came. It's maybe five minutes walk. No point going all the way up north to get Edie and then coming all the way back south to hand in this quest.
The Kaisar has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. For fuck's sake. yourself for battle. Again? Ugh. No, I don't want those. I think it's kind of funny that the uh, other assassin ran all the way over here. Oh yeah. Kind of lost track of where his corpse is. Seeing it. Oh well. Let's just head on towards the uh, Riverhood of Steel. Weird that we got two ambushes at the same place within a day. Let me just check. Stats. General. Users Legion. We're a merciful. Merciful Fug. It's the same level with the uh, Powder Gangers and we've really fucked over the Powder Gangers so maybe we are that unpopular with Caesar's Legion now. You know, all we did was free some Powder Gangers slaves and kill the people who tried to stop us. I think it's the way out. I want to come up here again. If we can find a way up. I need to go all the way up Death Mountain or Black Mountain. find out. That got really dark. Okay. This is the same place we came up to before. Should be free of enemies. the corpses of the uh, super mutants I killed from up on top of the hill.
I'll take your minigun as well. Once Veronica catches up, we can repair her machine gun. Oh, sorry, min minigun. Looks like they're there. Making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? That's I'm taking the heavy stuff off me for a change. Briefly. Also got a new weapon in the last episode. I'm gonna find it. This one. Something good for me? Is it a dress? Let's give you some more five mil. Two hundred, I think. Ah, oh, two fifty. over this hill. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's a scorpion. Seems like there's more scorpions. Damage 45. That's not bad. I don't see it's anything special. I think it's this guy who's lost the pistol. Yeah? Yes, can I help you? No, no idea. Sorry. Bye.
But yeah, I don't know how we proceed with that quest. I figure we need to find the pistol, but I couldn't find it myself. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? Just as I thought. McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me. The nerve of that man. This little stunt is probably what got them killed in the first place. Our normal patrol routes are known to be relatively safe. This is exactly what I've been looking for. McNamara gave my men new orders without telling me, thereby breaking the chain that binds. With this, I can finally have him removed as Elder and end this ridiculous lockdown. There are a number of people I'll need to talk to. The process won't be instantaneous, but with this evidence, my path is clear. It shouldn't take more than a few days, and then we can begin moving forward again. Okay. No, he's the Elder. Welcome, my friend. A new day has dawned for this chapter. And moving forward, we will no longer cower in the dark. And we have you to thank for it. You'll find that I can be generous to those who show loyalty. Here, take this key. If you ever find yourself in need of repair, head to our safe house to the northeast. Now, what can I do for you? Yes, I thought you might, given how much time you've spent here. That's not usually a request we agree to. Typically, we take in the young, so that they might be trained through adolescence. In special cases, we allow exceptional individuals to conditionally join. Luckily for you, you happen to be exceptional. The condition is that you must complete a task. This task must prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that you have what it takes to join the Brotherhood. I happen to have something perfectly suitable in mind. Though I warn you, it won't be easy. Still interested? Back when we were stationed at Helios, our scouts reported that a group was establishing itself in the area as a distributor of pre-war weapons. Our elder at the time, Elijah, was too concerned with getting Helios running and fending off the NCR, so he ordered us to leave them alone. It's time that we correct that oversight and show this region that the Brotherhood is still a force to be reckoned with. I want you to visit these weapons dealers, this Van Graaff family, make an example of them. Leave no one alive. When the job is done, Report back, and I'll arrange for a team to clean up the site and retrieve the weapons. Yeah, funny story about that. Um... Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we can't do that because we've already done it. Maybe we need to head back there. No. Well, seems like we should be able to talk to him about it. I think once we've joined the Brotherhood, we'll be able to use Power Armor. Or we'll get the training to use it. I wonder what happened to the other Elder. Whole future of New Vegas seems like it's up in the air. Guess I should wait things out before buying a condo in the Ultralux, huh? It's a free wasteland. Let's. Apparently she has nothing to say now that there's a new elder. Well, let's try talking to him again. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Well done. This is a small step in the right direction. But it's damn good to move forward again. Now? I believe congratulations are in order. It is my honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood, for your meritorious service in its name. Normally there'd be a ceremony and such, but everyone is too busy at the moment for such frivolity. 
I can give you this, however. Your very own suit of power armor. We can't spare our best, but I had the knights assemble this one for your use. Which reminds me, you don't even know how to use these, do you? Here, I'll show you. It's easy once you get used to it. First, we'll start with putting it on. Ah. There, I think you got the hang of it now. Should be able to use any type of power armor you come across using what you just learned. Very well then. In addition to the armor, I've given the order that all of our arms and equipment be made available for your purchase. Finally, while you are now a member of the Brotherhood, I cannot ask any more of you. I'm sure you have goals of your own outside these walls. You are free to come and go as you please. Though I hope you'll return to us someday in a more permanent capacity. I wish you the best outside. Brother. Yay! I can use power armor. Right, so that's got a DT of 12. This is a DT of 14. Gives me extra strength. Does my agility. But increases rad resistance. This has a DT of 3. Doesn't give me health regeneration. Yeah, I think our oh, will wear the helmet not so much. Now let's just one last time talk to him, see if there's anything else to say. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Later. Yeah, I think that's it. Doc Schuler is a lifesaver. I was hurt in training the other day and she fixed me right up. I wonder if I get access to more of the archives now. How may I assist you? Can't find the uh the pen? Nope. There's meant to be an elder a lot elder. There he is, scribe. Hello again, my friend. I hope you've been finding the information in the data store useful. Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Oh. Later. <laughs> How may I assist you? Then you bring your second unit up to provide covering fire, like so. I heard a special squad of rangers is on its way to the Vegas area. I guess the NCR is finally getting serious about fighting the Legion. I wonder if there's any notes in here about the missing gun. The principles of fusion are relatively simple. Yeah, I'm guessing not, because all I'm getting is the option to sit down. If I talk to him now, he will say something different. Yes, can I help you? No. God oh, damn it. You're lying. You're the only person who has an option to talk about it. Our instruments show some impressive power fluctuations coming from across the river. What's going on? Over there? Right. I am trying to find the way out. 
See if she'll tell us any more about it now. At least with the lockdown lifted, I'll be able to resupply my store more often. So what are you here for? Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. DT of 22. DT of 25. That one's only got benefits, but it doesn't have quite as good benefits as that one. Well, I guess it's got better radiation resistance, it just has lower strength. Eh, I'll buy it. Afford it. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm over encumbered again. That actually weighs less. Also, I mean, we can't repair it using the other style. Have you found it? I Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Actually, instead of selling it, we might be able to repair Veronica's. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? No. Oh, we don't get a Brotherhood style. Although... We found this on the floor, so I'm confused. Uh, they're about the same quality level. Doesn't seem to be any difference. I give you that. Hey, I can't really move now, but I'll follow you in spirit. <laughs> nice. All right, let's take some junk off you. We can, we can repair the standard one with the Brotherhood one, but we can't repair the Brotherhood one with the standard one. Well, that's annoying, but oh well. Either way, we get a bit better quality. Have you found it? I need to give. Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. So that and that. All of that. Um, three of them, four of them, three of them, two of them, we can get rid of the pulse gun because that's shite. DPS 6, damage 5. I can hold on to those for a moment. Get rid of those. Oh, we're going over your limit. Okay, that'll do. Pleasure doing business with you. Bye.
How may I assist you? I haven't you got any trousers in. Oh, there you go. I thought we might be able to find the old elder, but mm, he's disappeared. Oh, hey there. Something I can help you with? Like a power armor. We're heading back up towards Boomer territory. I don't think I want to go that way. I want to head this way. A few of us wanted to thank you for being such a good friend to the Brotherhood. So we've set aside some of our recycled energy cells. We'll leave a few of them in that footlocker in the corner every so often. The Paladins scoff at using recycled ammo, so no one should mind. Which? What? I the loss of Helios was terrible, but this bunker is a wonder of its own. What footlocker in the corner? Entirely sure whose journal that was. I imagine it's just broken behind here again, like ceiling falling down, sort of thing. Ah, yep. Although there is a frag grenade, because why not? I don't want to really go and get stuck in there. Ah, 
kind of curious where this corner that last was saying about is. So we haven't explored this bit. I think we've already been in this one, haven't we? Yeah, we opened that door last time. So have we explored everywhere? I think there's a big... Oh, a lot of people. doing a patrol one. Now that you actually have permission to leave the compound. Now that's why that's all blacked out. We've never been across there. And there was a hole in the fence. Let's have a look through there. There's goo. Oh, I think, yeah, we've already been this way. So, I think possibly we've explored everything around here. It'd be a lot easier to see if the bloody sandstorm wasn't raging. I guess that's kind of the point of the sandstorm, eh? Pretty sure we just walked around that, so I don't think that's black really. Can I get out this way? Doesn't look like it. Oh, sudden light again. Right, this is the north end of town. Kind of want to hit to Sloan. Might be able to do that through this direction. Such a weird effect. Well, I guess that's still there. place north of here. I'd turn back if I were you. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a heck of a lot safer. They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. 
We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blasting sticks. But now the death claws have shown up. The NCR is a no-show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but sit on our asses all day. It's damn frustrating. I don't know what it is about you, but I think you could actually pull it off. Death claws are tough bastards, but you might be even tougher. Nobody here is any use to you in a fight against death claws, but take these medical supplies. You'll probably need them. To do the job right, you've got to get rid of the pack leaders, the mother death claw and the death claw alpha male. Should run the rest of them off. There are a bunch of escape cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up, but the powder gangers are loose. It was one group that attacked us and took our entire supply of dynamite. Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. Okay. This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. The actual quarry, Quarry Junction, is up the road north of here. The whole thing is an NCR operation. We make cement for the NCR using the limestone we dig out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay's good. Wish we got paid in caps, though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR paper money. It all gets shipped by rail over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. The NCR is probably building fortifications with it all. It's a big machine which moves rocks around, piles at a time. It's pre-war tech, so you need to thump it once in a while to keep it running. Nope. The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money, just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't exactly fair. For example, a hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but work is work. Sure. I've been there once, and I don't recommend it. It's just a way to burn through a month's pay in five minutes. I've seen a lot of folks come through here thinking they'll have the easy life once they get there. It never happens. If you insist on going north, don't be expecting a rescue when you get into trouble. Let me see. Generator's still not working. Big surprise. Rat? It's not full still more rat, right? Ooh, lots of cigarettes. It doesn't seem like there's anybody in here. Still not working. Big surprise. This town seems deserted. Where's everybody? Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? I've got this recipe for a Deathclaw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a Deathclaw egg. Kinda obvious, I suppose. 
My great aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female death claw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. At least she did until some stranger came along and killed the death claw, shot it right in the eye. I'm pretty sure that's a reference to the first Fallout game. The quarry just north of here is full of death claws, so there's bound to be an egg or two in there somewhere. Of course, a death claw egg from anywhere will do. According to my Aunt Rose, those things have a ridiculously long shelf life. I don't have much in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe. All right. Do you need anything to eat or drink? Sure thing. You've got quite a bit of money. Yeah, I've got a missile launcher and I've got Annabelle. Don't need both. Get rid of the combat. Oh no, we can't. Once again, that puts us over. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Your voice changed. Sure. What did you want to know? Oh. I'm not. I'm making my way to New Vegas. They say anything goes there. And best of all, the NCR can't mess it up for you. I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> I've heard that you can't even get into the Strip unless you're rich. Born and raised. Things back in California are better than they've ever been, according to my grandpa. The Raiders are mostly gone now, and it's easy enough to get a job at one of the mills or farms. But now there's taxes and laws and other things. The NCR keeps things safe and orderly, but it's all very boring. So, I came out east, towards the frontier. Well, there's the Death Claws, of course. And there was that one group of powder gangers who stole all the dynamite. I think we're too small and poor for anyone to bother with, really. I keep a weapon near my bunk, though. Same as everybody here. All right then. Uh, I'm not convinced we're gonna get her an egg. She's the only other person in the fucking town that will talk to us. Let's see what that mole rat does. Our quest. So I guess more rats can be domesticated. And we can perform medicine on them. We haven't been in this building yet, have we? Oh no, yeah, this is... Yeah. So I guess we've been in everywhere. Can't take any of the ammo. Warning, death claws ahead. Some down there. Look.
There's only one alive though. run for this place but I don't think we need to worry too much about uh, death claws famous last words oh, they still not have any fucking items on them I swear to god the point of killing these things if there's nothing on them a lot of death claws up there but look at that check these corpses and why they're here Maybe a fight. Oh, maybe a powder gang is actually. Yeah, nothing on them. Morning, death claws ahead. Like a little bit of junk around here. A death claw over there. Not sure, it might be a red scorpion. Doesn't seem to be alive either case. Is that rule's shot? Yeah, I think that not right all. Marcus? Uh Neil. Neil Shack. Yeah, I think we've been here. I think we're pretty much out of the danger zone now. Uh, there's at least one more death claw down there. Oh, possibly three. Don't know if I want to antagonize three at once. Then again, you only live once. Over here. Oh, it's a proper death claw. Let's use... Hot oh, damn! That got close. Hey, and we got an egg. Nice. Unfortunately, it seems like they don't really act as a pack. No, 
know, unless any sneak up on us, we're pretty safe up here. Oh, it's your hand way. Yeah, okay, we'll take the hand. See if we can get another egg. Back up to Sloan, and then this Deathclaw egg, and then I think we'll call it a day because we're pretty much on the hour mark. Um, we could probably take out the entire camp with Deathclaws. We pick them off one one by one. The only danger in that is if we get into an area where we are basically confronted with six or seven death claws at the same time, in which case we will probably die. Wait, you weren't there before. Morning. Generator's still not working. Big surprise. I don't know which generator you're talking about. You need something? I'd noticed Snuffles limping, but I didn't realize the problem was that serious. Thanks. That beast helps keep spirits up around here. Huh. Yep. Got NCR fame for that. Hey there. What's new? Yeah. My great Epsilon. The I can't believe you actually got one. Give me a bit to get the recipe set up, then talk to me again. This is incredibly good. Here's your omelet and the recipe if you ever want to make your own. It takes a bit of skill to get it tasting right. Sure thing. Wasteland omelette. Gives you plus eight health for a minute. Pretty good. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I think we're going to save here. the episode here for today. So uh, in this episode we've replaced the Elder of the Brotherhood of Steel with Harkin, the um, former lead par paladin I think. Um, he has ended the lockdown so we're going to start seeing Brotherhood of Steel personnel out in the field I think. He also gave us a key for a safe room somewhere or another. We need to find that at some point. Um, beyond that, we've just done a bit of exploration around the uh, NCR, not NCR, the Brotherhood of Steel safe place, the wasteland where it's always sand stormy. Couldn't really find anything in that area. So we headed towards Sloan, where we found uh, a mining community, where there only seems to be like four people in it, and a mole rat which we fix a leg of. Uh, uh, it seems they're having a problem with death claws so we might uh, end up taking out as many death claws as we can in the next episode, getting a bit of experience, uh, maybe recovering some more eggs. I'm kind of worried that the alpha male and the female will be a little bit harder to kill. Um, but we're gonna have to see how we go I guess. We've got plenty of medics, stim packs, um, buff out the rest of it so you know i think we'll be all right if we try and take those on uh beyond that i want to head back up to uh 
Casino Lucky 38. Uh, re recruit Edie, who is waiting for us there. And I don't know, after that, I guess we've only really got the main quest to do beyond the DLC. Um, so we might go and take out Mr. House. Or we might head back up to the Boomers first, see if we can convince them to help us out in our mission, which we don't really have a concrete plan for at the moment. But uh, if we can convince them to help us, then we won't need to tell Yes Man not to do anything about them, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's where we are. That's what we're planning on doing. Um, so until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for now. See you again soon.